ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? I guess not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. Uh, my name is David Streggy, and here uh, I have another review for you, this time of uh, an anthology uh, that was put together by um, Will Colazzo, uh, uh, um, who is uh, 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 Will Colazzo Jr., who is the director of a couple of films that I am very well fo uh, f uh, fond of. I guess my favorite of his uh, so far would probably be Theater of Horror, but he is also the director of Bloody Nun and Bloody Nun 2, uh, uh, um, as well as apparently some other films that are co uh, 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 coming out. Uh, but originally I was supposed to be part of this um, um, antho uh, 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 anthology. He had uh, tried to put uh, put me together with one of his actors, and uh, I didn't have a, a green screen. And I think with uh, things that had to uh, uh, do uh, work, uh, work wise, we were waiting on word from him on w uh, what to do. He never got back to uh, me, but that's okay. I I enjoy his uh, art di uh, direction and. Uh, his films regardless and um i love uh, the fact that uh he's come to me at me to um ask my opinion of this new anthology um so the wraparound is kind of uh so, uh, apparently um we have rebecca reinhardt who plays dr boob uh, 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 boob <laughs> Boobenstein? Boobenstein. Um, Dr. Boobenstein. And she's apparently um, telling us these um, five tales of um, apocalyptic stories. And the first one that we come ac across is... Um, Similar scenario uh, to, uh, to that which uh, um, uh, that which uh, 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 what I was try uh, trying to uh, uh, do, um, uh, which if he'd have gone with my uh, my story it would have been a little bit more elaborate, but if he'd have put more time into it, he would uh, 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 he would have loved uh, lo uh, loved it regardless. I've, I had a few friends of mine who evidently. Got together, they didn't have a green sc a sc a screen, and I thought that they actually put a well, a well together, a little sh a a a short. But th that that's neither here nor there. Um, so we have Sean C. Thier Phillips, who's also known as Cool Duder on U uh, YouTube, and we have Cal Rappaport, um, who um 
also um, was in re uh, Return to Glass of Newcom High uh, with uh, as a party goer of, uh, of sorts in uh, um, Lloyd Kaufman's uh, Return to a, a, a film uh, who has a short film in here called Killer Brainiac where he plays a critic <laughs> who gives a bad review uh, with his significant other. But um, we also have him um, talking to Sean back, uh, uh, back and for uh, forth and Sean uh, seems to go through some changes, and we end up see, uh, seeing what looks like a camera go into um, Kyle's room, and something happens to Kyle. And that's how the the film begins. Uh, don't really want to say too much, um, but I thought the, uh, that beginning segment actually didn't look too bad um, for what, uh, what it was. And then, um, of course, that uh, then we're, we're introduced to Dr. Bubenstein, which uh, she looks pretty dead sexy. Uh, I mean, dead sexy. <laughs> and uh, uh, she's got a kind of a German accent go uh, uh, going on. Kind of explains a little bit of herself. And we go into these other f uh, films. So the first film that we we see here um, is actually called District Dead. It's directed by David Rodriguez, and we see a character here um, who um, is um, going through this world, and we see zombies that evidently are animated, and uh, um, he is foraging for food and then it kind of goes backwards uh, 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 like a number of days and it kind of shows a little bit of you know how it uh, how it came to be that he's in the world that he is apparently he followed some dude into the wood uh, 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 something into the woods and he found traces of stuff and it ended up coming across a, a, a um, one of the undead, um, and uh, he, the character, ended up smashing the head of this creature in, and he ran back to um, apparently wherever he li uh, uh, lived, and uh, apparently his brother and or son or um, significant other it came home and just and that's when everything thing kind of started to go to uh, go to shit uh, apparently outside you started hearing sirens and uh, 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 what do you know, uh, know the landlord uh, uh, had evidently been bitten earlier and he started to turn <laughs> evidently and I guess the character took the coward's way out and had to deal with situations down uh, uh, down the ro road, and it's kind of like a ghost dog, uh, samurai kind of uh, kind of a story line, I guess, uh, um, where it's kind of narrated by the thoughts of the main character, and he has to do so, uh, 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 do things beyond the norm yeah, I guess the the blood was not real it was actually animated uh, made it, uh, uh, there was a moment where he had to take off so, uh, someone's head and uh, the blood squir uh, squirted <laughs> um, but it didn't squirt um, there it squirted on the screen and uh, it, it was different um, but um, I guess the um, next film was uh, 
directed by Tanner McGar and is called They Approach. And it's about, about a young girl who starts to see people in white sheets on the lawn. Um, and her parents don't see it, uh, and they don't believe her. Suddenly she turn, uh, uh, turns and, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of an interesting story here. Um, I do like the characters involved. Of, of it seemed like they were somewhat believable. Um, it was a strange story of, uh, creatures that kept cl uh, coming closer if you took your eyes off of them, you know? Um, so, um, and then, uh, the next film, I be believe either, either it was before or after, uh, this sto uh, story was Killer Brainiac, which uh, Kyle had actually come to me before, this even began was asking if I knew anyone who would put his uh, film in anything, and I actually think that his film kind of fits because uh, it it is kind of a undead kind of a killer, and that goes after the critic <laughs> and uh, his mate. So my problem with Kyle, and I know that he's got, um, some mental problems, uh, and that's not to be against him, but, um, just like myself, I have problems with stuttering, and I think, um, he does stutter a little bit too much, not to say that, uh, that he's a bad person or anything like, uh, like that, uh, that, but if he could get that stammering problem fixed, the film could be a little bit better. And if he didn't repeat things a little bit, maybe the film would be okay. But I do feel like this film fits for um, for the uh, this film. Glad it found a home, and uh, uh, so on and so forth. So um, the next. Um, the next film is, uh, directed by Chris Effler, um, and it, it, it uh, the short film is in black and white, and it's called Le Love Letters from the Dead. Now, I like this, uh, 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 film, it's very romantic, um, it's about a, a man who se seems to have not let, let go of the feelings that he's had of a loved one who, uh, who's been gone, and uh, he gets a love letter from her from the grave, and he writes back to her, and you know he gets an answer. Um, the thing that I know about this uh, uh, film is I know that the director himself does not uh, enjoy the ending in the uh, in the film uh, in this version of the film that is in Faces of the Dead. He actually enjoys the ending where apparently a hand comes up out of the grave and that's all you see. Uh, whereas um, in this uh, in this particular version, the ending is different. And um, I guess it shows more uh, uh, than he wa wanted. And that's okay. The, uh, the director is... Um, is entitled to his his opinion, but I like both adaptations of the film. To be honest, and I almost w uh, wish that maybe as a bonus be a feature that uh, maybe um, maybe uh, Will could probably put that as an added bo a bonus be a feature as pe as uh, as an extra or something like that, so that at least it, get, it gets out there or what whatnot. Maybe you can contact uh, Chris Effler about that and. Um, see if people like that version better or what or whatnot. And then, of course, there's the final um, film in the uh, Faces of the Dead um, anthology. Um, it's a film by Victor Cass. Uh, uh, Gass. Victor. Uh, 
What is Casper, I believe his name is. Um, and uh, I love this uh, 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 film. I've reviewed it before, and I think that's why, uh, why I, won't, I won't review it in this Faces of the Dead. It's, it's a, sh a short film uh, called They're Coming to Get You. Um, and I, I believe that um, Victor Gasper um, wrote this in kind of an homage to uh, George A. Romero. Um, and uh, it's a nice little brother, brother uh, story in the apocalypse. And uh, I'm glad that it's found a home on, on some sort of mythology. Um, I know it's been out there to see for free, but, uh, but I'm glad that it's found a possibility of a, a, a being in physical for, a form, at least in this day and age. So I'm glad that, uh, that these films are seen, uh, seeing the light. The first um, se uh, segment, District Dead, I loved how grindhouse it, uh, uh, it uh, uh, seemed uh, to be. If I were to say my favorite film out of this um, anthology, I would have to say um, it would be it, it being in between um, the letters from the dead, uh, 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 love letters from the dead, and uh, um, they're coming to get you, um, which it was a well put together uh, uh, film. I know it was a college effort, but it was it was pretty good for uh, for its time. And Victor Gasper, I loved his. Uh, I loved his um, character in Theater of Blood. I still think to this day that if he did an independent version of Rocky Horror Picture Show Live, he, he could definitely play um, uh, <coughs> the main character of Frankenfurter. Um, or whatever. So, in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Hopefully, you get to check out this uh, film in the near future. Hopefully, I didn't say too uh, uh, too much. Um, I guess the, uh, these are some of... Uh, I guess um, I'm glad that some of these films are seeing the light, uh, uh, light regardless. So, um... um Thank you for listening and have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Appreciate your time spent here on the page. And uh, thank you, uh, Will, for letting me watch the uh, watch the film. I would have loved to have uh, been part of uh, this. I had half of it put to get, uh, together, what, what I... What, what I was planning for uh, uh, for you. Yeah, I just didn't have a green screen. And uh, we just didn't find the time to uh, um, gather up the uh, supplies that uh, that we could have done that. Um, you were talking about a mask. and You just never got back to me. So, in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the uh, review. Thank you so much. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?